So, hello and welcome back. So, apparently this is the last, um, the last chapter of Volume 3. I think this is the last chapter of Beast Complex in general. I don't know if Haru's gonna continue doing this at some point or, or not. According to chapter, at the end of chapter 18, this is the last, the last chapter of it. That sucks, like... Ah, man, I've just been so invested in this world, and it's being taken from me again. No. But hey, it's, um, it's part of it. Sometimes good things have to come to an end. Hopefully she picks it up again. So, yeah, let's just jump right into it and get started. Beast Complex, Chapter 19, The Bovine and the Crocodile. On a stormy night, I'm home. I'm sorry if my company's a little inconvenient, miss. That was weird. I'm sorry if my company's a little inconvenient, miss. Hey, mom, I have a friend here with me. Is he a cow? Oh, welcome home. You two look drenched. They're cows. Yeah. We were just on our way home when we happened to run into each other. His name's Nagumo. Can he stay here until the rain stops? I see this guy's glasses and I don't know why. He, I imagine his voice to be like Ida's from uh, My Hero Academia. Or if you know his hero name, it's Ingenium, but you know, Ida. This should get animated, and they should give uh, him Ida's voice, because I could totally see Ida here. Yeah, um, of course, you can stay as long as you'd like. Thank you. I've heard that a house's financial status can be seen by the quality of its bath towels. Yes, not only that, and their bathtub. I feel like that's a first world problem, but... Bathtubs have been getting like super smaller, like smaller and smaller. Sometimes some places don't have a bathtub at all. But if you have a big bath, if I see someone that has a big bathtub, I'm like, damn, they got money. I'd kill for a big bathtub. I'm like six six. But um, yeah. So this guy, this guy comes from money. <laughs> the unexpected difference you feel from the softness. Wow, I've never touched a towel this fluffy before. Hey, Nagumo, why don't you take a bath too? Otherwise, you'll run the risk of catching a cold. You can use the warm water if you'd like. I'd save you. Hmm. I've saved you some. I've saved some for you. Here's a spare change of clothes. Oh, thank you. Why is he being so nice? That's strange. Like, I wonder if there's ulterior motives here. Are they friends? Or are they just classmates? Because he invited them in. For he just invited like a, a carnivore into his house just cause? Out of the goodness of his heart or what? This is unusual to see, like very unusual. And that face though. Haru must really like crocodiles. I think this is the second one. Let's see. You can use the warm water in there if you like. I'd say I saved some for you. Let's see. Oh, thank you. It was last month that my brother brought back something from the back alley market. Oh, wait. The back alley market is still... around? Oh, so this must take place in between uh, B stars. It's still in the main series. Is this bouillon soup? It's meat broth. Warning, addictive. You know, technically, this isn't really meat. It's okay if we drink it. Because it's just meat broth. Ah, uh, so. He was, so that cow was bathing in that water, so I bet it must be delicious. Is it only natural that the water he had soaked in smells very similar to that can? That time I couldn't stop. I just drank it all up. I couldn't, 
I could feel that beef stop permeating throughout my body. No, no, I, why in the world would I drink it? I'll just rinse myself off before heading in the bath. Ah, oh, he's sick. He actually drank it. I feel like I've seen this before. Like, this is a meme from somewhere. What was it? Gamer Girl bath water or something like that? It's so tasty. There's still so much left. He's drinking that bath water like it's going out of style. Oh, that's awkward. Look at his eyes. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. I remember that we had run out of body wash, so I came to give you some more. Thanks. He just composes himself. By the way, my mom said it was okay for you to stay over for dinner. Feel free to help yourself. My mom is a great cook. Shut up. Uh. Yeah, that's awkward. He got money. Glad he got money. So is this place air conditioned? Because I just noticed this. Glass panel doors. Big window. A big tub. What else? And multiple products. Just, well, I guess. And don't they, in, in Japanese style bathrooms, don't they have, um, like it's two separate, um, spaces? Like one where you, like, rinse off at, and then there's the main, like, bathing area. And there's a big emphasis on reusing water, too. If anyone knows, can you let me know down in the comments? I find stuff like this fascinating. Um, let's see. Okay. Where were they eating? I've been caught. He must have seen me. Drinking. <laughs> so, Nagumo, are you in the same club as uh, Heisei? Uh, no, we're just classmates, really. We've actually never really spoken to each other before. We just happened to be talking on the way home when it began to rain. Oh, okay. Did they form a connection with each other that fast? What's this guy's... What's his M.O.? In that case, I guess the rain was a blessing in disguise. I guess so. I think it's nice that we know a bit more about each other. What's on their table? Yep, he got money. That's wine right there. Look at these glasses they're, like, drinking out of. It's small stuff like this to just pick up on. Even their utensils are fancy. They're not, like, standard. Like, it'd be so easy to just, like, have standard, um, like, utensils here. But these, I bet these are, like, wood pommels or something like that. Wood handles. Showing you that they're made of a different quality. Is that thermostat? Temperature control, maybe? Okay. So, I'm, uh, what's the MO of this chapter here? I'm not understanding. So, the next day. Um, thank you for everything. Don't mention it. It was just embarrassing that my mom made a big deal out of it. Get a bar. Uh, hey, uh, hey, say. While I was in the bathroom, hmm? Are you gonna ask if I saw you drink the leftover bath water? No, yeah, I saw you. Don't worry, though. I don't mind. I assume that you did it because your family is lower class, right? He went there, like, right away. Okay, well, that made me uncomfortable. You know, our family motto is, always take in the needy with open arms and give to them as you would unto yourself. Okay, so, I was actually correct in pointing all of this out. Everything. <laughs> From the moment we walked in. 
from the tap. That's why they drew into. That's why he put emphasis on the towels. And he even said, "I've never touched towels this fluffy before." Okay. All right, but that's messed up. I don't think it's coming from a place of, like, malicious intent. Because, after all, he invited him into his house, right? Or he didn't have to. He could have easily just had him, like, walk home. So, I don't know. Um, and he didn't say anything that night, either. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to see the best in this situation. Uh... Hopefully it doesn't get dark as soon as I turn the page, but I don't know. I just don't think, well, maybe he invited him to just show off his wealth or whatever. But then again, I'm trying to see the best in, in, the, in the character, you know? Because don't get me wrong, I've actually met people like this. I've encountered them, unfortunately, and I don't know. Sometimes it can sound fucked up, but there are true. There are people out there that are well-meaning, and some really just don't know any better. Some, and that was pretty insensitive what he said. But that might he might not view it that way. That's the thing you got to keep in mind. That's just that's just what I'm thinking. Just because I've been in a situation, I've been in situations like this, so I'm just like, okay, maybe it's not as cut and dry or black and white. And this is Beast Complex after all, so it's never really just, everything's just a shade of gray. So let's see. Let's see, I know carnivores go to the back alley market to eat meat in secret. So lacking money you just happen to stumble into, so lacking money, you just happen to stumble into one of your classmates and use their soaked bath water as a substitute to satiate your hungering desire. Honestly, who could blame you? Ah, damn, he is actually going there. Yo, fuck this guy. I'm actually getting... Wow. I mean, he's not wrong, because look at the flashback. Ramen noodles and a hundred yen. Uh, I bet that's like a bread thingy. Udon? No, that's not no. It's a onigiri or something. I don't know. Some type of bread thing. Yeah, let's see. I have a night shift tonight. There's some dinner left for you, mom. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting called out right now. Why is this? Why is this chapter hitting? But yeah, totally been there before too. So I'm actually getting mad for this character right here. Sheesh. And hey man, so ah, uh, only in Beast Complex, Haru is actually a, a, a genius at what she does. Because this here, even this scene, relatable. Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have, you know? Like, even to, like, heck, even to, I know what that symbol is. He got the shin bowl. Like, even, even to this day, ramen noodles are still my, like, comfort food. But, yeah. Uh, been poor. So, looks like you'll be cleaning the pool after school today. Uh... I've never been good at rock, paper, scissors. I'll help you with it this time. I'll help you. Who said? Oh, it's him. Eh? How come, Heisei? You just won. Well, because I'm free today and cleaning the pool alone is too much work. Looks like the prince himself saved your life. You better thank him for his mercy. Hey, Nagumo. You okay? Why are you so quiet? He's embarrassed. But thank you, but... Why? Because I pity you. Oh god, he's one of those characters. But at the same time, I'm sticking to what I said. 
just because I've experienced this myself, I don't think it's coming from a place of maliciousness because I'm not getting those vibes at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not getting those vibes, but let's see what he says. Why do you have to say that, though? Screw this guy. You were caught drinking leftover bath water. Instead of being ashamed for... Instead of being shamed for that, you get pitied for it. Then in the day after you lose in rock, paper, scissors game to clean the pool. I'm sorry. Then in the day after you lose in rock, this rock, paper, scissors game to clean, to clean the pool. Because I... Alright, so maybe... It, Maybe it's just pity because of his streak of bad luck. Not because he's like underprivileged, if that's what he's getting at. I can't imagine what you're thinking getting that unlucky back to back. Maybe it's better to think of it as a punishment for yesterday. For what, for getting caught? Okay, he needs to stop talking. Oh, oh here we go. I wonder how long this water will take to drain. So he just kicks him in. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, I know, it's true. I drank from a tub full of bouillon soup. But do you even know what that is? It's soup made from bovine meat for poor carnivores like me. Okay, so it's actually confirmed from his mouth that he is poor. Like, when I saw this, immediately knew <laughs> but that's just confirmed now but do you even know what that is it's soup made from bovine meat for poor carnivores like me the poor carnivores like me does shitting on me really make you feel better about yourself you pompous asshole I love how they use that shitting on me that's <laughs> you you're the asshole. The outline of his pattern was blurred through a sh wood shirt. As if he really was going to melt into the pool. I have a hunch that once this pool is completely drained, I'll never get another chance. Another chance for what? For your information, you weren't the only one who was scared. Don't paint me as the bad guy for seeing a bad picture as it is. He has a point. He does have a point. <laughs> because, um... I mean, think of the situation. Like, he invited a carnivore into his house where, you know, their society is heavily favored towards herbivores, right? And carnivores are viewed with contempt just from how they were born. And he walks in and he sees a, a crocodile or alligator, whatever, drinking a drinking a bathtub full of water you just bathed in, knowing that he's he craves and he craves your flavor. He should be thankful that it just wasn't him, because it could easily just be him if he so chooses to just eat him, he could have. But I wonder if he can come from a place of understanding. Uh, he even said it himself. Don't paint me as the bad guy for seeing a bad picture as it is. If he didn't want to be around him anymore, he wouldn't be around him. He would just leave. Right? Because they've only talked like once. Right? But instead of turning him away, he actually invited him into his house. That's the reason why I'm like... I want to see good in this guy, and I don't think he has any type of malicious intent. He might just lack tact with his words. Again, I've met people like this, so I'm just like, I want to be, I want to see the good here. Because I've seen the good. So, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, uh. You weren't the only one who was scared. Don't pay me as the bad guy for seeing that picture as it is. When I told you yesterday that I was glad that we were getting to know each other more, I really meant it. Pop that too. Yup. I believe that. I wasn't lying when I said that. 
Hey, say. I couldn't do it. I couldn't say it. I really should have told you sooner. Hey, say. I'm so. Hmm? Don't apologize unless you actually want me to feel bad. I like it. I like a small detail. Um, if you don't know about crocodiles, they um have overly developed jaws for closing, but for opening, they're extremely weak. You can hold them down with very little force, and they just can't open their mouth at all. So um, yeah. That's why I can't say anything. So that's a nice little detail. And I like how they're not saying that, like, explicitly. <laughs> so if you know, you know. And if you didn't know, the more you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Sorry. Oh, Heisei's apologizing. Uh-huh. I, I was just apologizing on your behalf. Looks like we're soaking wet again, just like yesterday. Yeah, I guess we are. Heisei, do you want to come by my house? Hmm, I'll think about it. Oh, so... Th I completely forgot the crocodile's name. But he's uh, inviting him to his house now. So, I like this. I like this a lot. He said sorry, but he's not, he has that type of personality. He's not apologizing on his behalf. He, he truly means the sorry is coming from him and how he, how he acted from before. But he truly does, like, he truly does want to reach out to his, uh, to his classmate and actually be friends. So I think that's really sweet. Like... This is, especially with the abolishment of the back alley market, him coming, like, herbivores coming to an understanding and empathizing with carnivores and their struggle is super important. It needs to happen, especially since the back alley market does not exist anymore. So things like this, understanding between the species, absolutely needs to happen. When I told you yesterday that I was glad we were getting to know each other more, I really meant it. I was not lying when I said that. And mind you, he didn't have to invite him, but he did. So, this is a beautiful friendship waiting to happen. I actually like this character, Heisei, and I actually want to see more of him. He reminds me of Ida, like a more edgy Ida from My Hero Academia. Like an Ida with a chip on his shoulder. And a little bit of Louis's attitude, but man, it's been fun. Let's melt together, mix together, and move forward. So, this has been uh, chapter 19 of Beast Complex. It's been good. If this is the last chapter we get for a while, I'd say it ended on a really good note. And I'm really happy I got to experience this. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this. If there are any more chapters, I'll be sure to update. But until then, uh, I guess I'm on other projects. Hopefully you'll stick around. If not, I'll see you when I see you. But that's all I got for the night. So uh, bye now and take care of yourself.